Good afternoon, Hoosier Republicans. Steve, Barb, and all the loyal delegates who drove down to Evansville, thank you for the privilege of being your nominee for State Auditor this fall. I want to thank God, my continuous source of strength, wisdom, and hope, as I'm facing opportunities and challenges I would have never have imagined. I want to thank all my family and friends, including Zach, my husband, and Julian, and Alex, and my best friends who are first-time delegates and on stage behind me today. I also want to say hats off to my campaign team and the state party for helping me understand and navigate what a statewide campaign looks like. It's pretty big, so thank you guys. I was born and raised in Fort Wayne, Indiana, as Steve alluded to, and so um, I went to college in Fort Wayne and took a job at a very large accounting firm in Fort Wayne and would have continued to work there until my husband decided to go to law school and there were no law schools in Fort Wayne. And so seeing as we had some children, I needed to look for a new job that would allow me to get the kids to and from daycare when he would be out of town some days. And so at the time, Zach was serving as the executive director for the Allen County GOP under Steve Shine. And the clerk, the county clerk knew that his wife was a CPA. So she contacted him and we had lunch. She was campaigning and she campaigned on hiring a CPA as her chief deputy if she won county auditor. Well, we agreed that I would work for her if she won. She won and the rest is history. So in 2003, that was in 2003, was my very first month as chief deputy auditor. And in 2003, they changed the way they assess property in Allen County. So there wasn't an on-time tax bill in any of the 92 counties that year. So when I went to work for the county auditor, I learned first, the county auditor doesn't audit in the traditional sense of auditing. They are the chief financial officer of the county. In addition, they calculate property tax. But I had the opportunity to actually help all the units within the county perform tax, um, perform cash flow analysis so that they could continue to operate without that property tax revenue. And that is where I realized I truly have a passion for problem solving and public service. So eight years later, I became the elected auditor in Allen County. And this would have been my last year as the Allen County Auditor. And I was set to start a program with Kathy Humbarger in our church to help provide support for people and families that adopt foster children. But God had a different plan. Um, God had a different plan for me and Indiana because the unprecedented events of summer and fall of 2016 that led to Eric Holcomb appointing me to fill the shoes of then state auditor, Evansville's very own Suzanne Crouch. And since being appointed as Indiana's chief financial officer, I've treasured each and every day of the experience. As Steve said, we've started internal controls. We're enhancing transparency. And, and, I, and in my predecessors, what Suzanne Crouch and Tim Berry, transparency was already one of their top goals. So I am just continuing that top goal because it's the state auditor's job since we're in charge of all the money. I mean, after all, it is your money. And so you should know where it goes and how it's spent. Thank you. I am honored to be part of the statewide team ticket with Connie and Kelly. Um, you know, we're, we're taking the state to the next level with Eric. We're kind of his backcourt if he's the front court, if in basketball. And, I, and so it's, it's fun to be the, the, short, the short stack, um, getting, holding up and paying the state's bills and making sure all the stuff gets done. We're proud to be a part of that team. Um, and then I also, as Suzanne did, I want to continue to build trust in government, one relationship at a time. We should be transparent. We should be reliable. We should be accountable each and every day. You know what? That means we may not always agree on every decision, but you'll know my rationale. And I feel if you know my rationale, I believe you'll know my motives. Again, it's about transparency. So I just pledge to work always hard, strive for the best for all the Hoosiers and residents in Indiana, and always let you know where I stand on the issues that affect my office. 
I want to thank um, Suzanne and Eric for allowing me to serve as Indiana's first ever CPA auditor. And I want to thank you for helping me become the first elected CPA in Indiana auditor history in the fall. And I can't, I can't leave the stage without thanking personally Kyle and his team and Evansville for making this a wonderful experience for me and my family as my first state convention. And so please join me in giving them a round of applause. Thank you.